Hi, I'm Odette Venice, and welcome back to Hit It or Miss It, where all things pop culture are covered. On the 15th of November, rising American rapper Little Peep tragically died of an overdose on Xanax pressed with fentanyl powder. His death has opened up a conversation about drug use and how it's represented in pop culture. Based on the statistics of the Rehab International Organization, teen drug abuse has been a rising problem in the U.S. for the last decade now. On average, teens listen to 12 plus hours a week of music, and depending on the genre of music, you'll hear about 584 substance slash drug abuse references a week. This week, I sat with Ananda Lennox, the director of the Northampton Prevention Coalition, who speaks with us on the statistics of youth drug use and how they try to combat these drug issues. The opioid epidemic um, is really scary. It's taken a lot of lives. It's been in the Northampton area for over 20 years. It's just that it's getting more attention now. And so what I think pop culture does is it normalizes a certain extent of drug and alcohol and tobacco use. Um, they, what they show over and over again that's not really healthy is actors or people that you really look up to using these substances to make themselves happier or more popular. And so it's easy, I think, as a young adult to see this exhibited over and over again and see it as like maybe something that would work for them as well. To try to answer your question, I think it's something that everybody in this age group should be well aware of. I think we need to destigmatize addiction, but yet still raise awareness about how dangerous the drug is so that it's taking, it's seen in the light that it needs to be seen in. While youth drug use is a rising problem in Northampton and nationwide, how might pop culture especially impact this? I talked with Sue Crego, English teacher at NHS, who does a unit on pop culture and drug issues to find out. I think somebody famous who dies from a drug overdose makes it real that this is what can happen to you. Um, and if, if somebody that rich and famous could end up like that, maybe it could happen to you too. So I think depending on who's watching this person or who's admiring the person or whatever and what their state of mind is, I, but I do think one way or the other, people get, especially teens, get influenced by the people that they admire and what they do and what happens to them. The opioid epidemic continues to grow and kill 100,000 Americans a year. Think about what you can do to stop this and help this country of its drug problem. I'm Oda Benes, and this was Hit It or Miss It.